So today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a permanent damage boost on your Titan, stack in front of Might and High Energy Fire via Stasis Shards. If you just take a look on this bottom left, what you're going to see is I'm going to be charged with light times 2 and I'm going to get a Stasis boost. And you can do this on the fly and it's extremely useful for loads of DPS situations. And on top of that, it's also really good for just general play. So just smashing a Stasis Crystal and featuring mods called elemental shards uh, I'm using font of might just look at this damage here 65k all I'm doing is I'm going to pop one of my stasis crystals and then it's going to go up to 98,000 that's a 50% damage increase you can do this on the fly anytime you want on a, t on a stasis titan via half frost Z or your glacier grenade stay tuned I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and how to make your Titan into a self-sufficient DPS machine. So this is how to get a free damage boost on a stasis subclass uh, on your Titan Horfrost Z. While using the stasis subclass your barricade becomes a wall of stasis crystals that slows nearby targets when created. Standing behind the barricade will grant you and your allies increased weapon reload speed, stability and range. Now that's all, all cushy and nice. But I don't use it for that at all. I use it just for the extra for the extra wall of stasis crystals basically. I don't use it for any of the reload stuff, although it is nice. Because on top of that, what I do is I also run it with uh, the glacier grenade. So the glacier grenade and all the stasis crystals from the half horse Z sort of barricade, all them crystals that you get, that and the glacier grenade. Uh, it's just like an infinite amount of stasis shards via this aspect here tectonic harvest shattering a, shattering a stasis crystal creates a stasis shard so like i said again that's just like on the on the go you've got your stasis grenade your glacier grenade and this barricade of wall of crystals stasis crystal so all the stasis crystals via the chest piece and the glacier grenade via this mod here elemental shards stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells for you so just shattering any of them crystals is going to create a shard and then that shard is going to act as an elemental well via that mod so it's a really nice mod i think i've covered this a couple of times and because we're basically getting elemental wells via that mod we could run this one here font of might so that's going to give us a 25 percent damage buff to our stasis weapons because we're on a stasis subclass for 10 seconds and then things like reed's regret which is already a dps monster and things like there's loads of perez d things like that there's the sniper stasis loads of stasis weapons we can take advantage of but in this video i've just purely concentrated on the reed's regret because it's an absolute dps monster so having an extra 25 percent damage on top of that is awesome and we can even add something called high energy fire which is an extra 20 percent damage we can stack both of them together because font of might high energy fire stack Elemental charge is the one you want. Again, picking up an elemental well is going to make us charge with light. And because of stasis shards, elemental shards, that's going to make us charge with light times too, as long as you're an elemental charge. So, having Font of Might and High Energy Fire working both at the same time, it's an absolutely huge damage buff, and you can do it on the fly. On top of that, you can run elemental time dilation as well, and that's optional. That gives you an extra three seconds on your font of might. It stacks like the time. It stacks the time benefits of elemental wells. Uh, mods does elemental time dilation, so it's quite a useful mod. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the damage boost. So you've got your stasis barricade via tectonic harvest. We're going to be able to create elemental shards like that, and then because we're running elemental shards. That's going to proc our font of might. So if you can see on the bottom left, we've got our stasis weapon boost going. And I've also got charge with light because I'm running elemental charge. And then obviously, as I touched on, we can also run high energy fire. So that's a 45 to 50% damage increase uh, just with high energy fire and font of might stacking both together. And like I've said at the beginning of the video, you can do this yourself. You don't need a warlock. You don't need any sort of help from your teammates. You can do this all on your own situations are like this i knew i was doing dps you'll see that shard there so i threw my crystal down smashed it on the way in and now i've got a good 50 percent damage increase uh, i'm actually in a well at this point uh, so the high energy fire is getting overridden but there's going to be situations where you're not always going to be in a well again this situation here as i'm on the way down i knew i'm doing dps so i'm smashing that crystal to get that 
boost this is weapon boost for my Reed Regret. I've also got firing line on this Reed Regret, so it's apps all stacking together. It's an absolutely huge damage boost, as you can see. I'm in, hitting for 128k. Uh, there's no bait and switch there neither. It's just firing line and the 25% stasis weapon boost plus the 20% high energy fire. And like I said, when you're in a well, the well doesn't stack with high energy fire, but in situations you're not always going to have a well so it's just a really big damage boost all of the time uh, extremely extremely useful for loads and loads of dps situations and then obviously on a titan as well on the stasis titan it isn't really known as a dps super uh, but there is like a lot of boss encounters at the moment where you can't actually use your titan smash or something or a, a dps super like warpriest you can't really use your titan smash on him really so having a this sort of setup is really going to benefit you uh, getting some massive numbers on your reads you get uh, and then I just wanted to show you this sort of gameplay as well with regards to the Titan subclass and how tanky you are this was a master challenge because uh, the way I've got my fragments set up and everything like that I've got loads of resist going on and you can see this situation here I can quite easily deal with the unstoppable champion on my own and the rest of the ads via the stasis setup so I'll go in more into that as we go, but I'm just going to go back to the DPS again. As you can see, throw that crystal down and massive damage boosts across the board on the fly with a half frost Z or your glacier grenade. You've got two ways of doing this, so you can constantly keep doing it all the time. Uh, again, another DPS on the Master Wellspring. I knew we was doing DPS, so I just throw my crystal down there, uh, my stasis glacier grenade, and then just take advantage of the DPS and then again like I said on the fly stasis shotgun this new one this season it's absolutely great for things like that as well like you probably noticed there what I did was just wait because anyone unstoppable was there got that damage boost for my stasis weapons got all that resist going on and I've also the way I've got this set up as well as I've got healing going on via whisper of rhyme which I'll show you more at the end of this sort of next couple of clips I'll go more into it but all in all solid all round play instant dps and on the fly it's really useful stay tuned i'm going to show you my full setup so this is now the full setup uh, the aspects i use are tectonic harvest and diamond lance tectonic harvest is the one that you you must run diamond lance is up to you i enjoy this one just being able to run around with our spear our diamond lance freeze enemies shatter enemies with our spear it's really nice but tectonic harvest is the one you must run glacier grenade which we've already touched on. That with the half Z Z with a stasis barricade, you can just get the damage on the fly. The fragments, a whisper of chains. While you are near frozen targets or friendly stasis crystals, you take reduced damage from targets. So on top of all the extra damage you get, you're gonna get loads of damage reduction as well via this one, really strong. And plus you get an extra 10 recovery on that. So it's really generous and it does absolutely loads for you and your actual stasis subclass, whisper of fishes increase the damage and the size and the best of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat frozen target obviously we're going to be smashing a lot of crystals and then putting out a bit of extra damage with the ad clearing capabilities whisper of shards shatter the stasis crystal temporarily boost your grenade recharge rate so that's a no-brainer because all we're doing on this build is smashing a load of stasis shards and getting an extra discipline boost plus an extra 10 resilience is really strong whisper of conduction nearby stasis shards track your position but when you're in 10 meters of them stasis shards they're going to start sort of slowly traveling towards you and on top of that whisper of rhyme collecting the stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield but like what this doesn't tell you it does actually heal you if you're not at full health it will heal you so shattering all them crystals in certain situations they're all going to come towards you all the stasis shards are going to heal you so it's really really handy so that's everything i really enjoy, hope you enjoyed this video uh, let me know what you think leave a thumbs up uh, let me know how i got on and enjoy the rest of your day